Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am in a different setup because I'm actually going to be somewhere else for the whole summer. I'm back home for a while, so um, yeah, I'm going to try to figure out kind of like how to do all of this, but hopefully it looks good so far. Um, but I have my Ipsy bag today. So we're going to be doing a try on haul and um, pretty much just go through what I got. First I got this mask. Um, it's the painting therapy pack. Um, serum control black color clay. I'll try this on at the end of the day and we will see how this goes and I'll just like insert a clip later um, when I actually try this on. I'm not going to do it right now. So I thought we'd move on to the eyes because I got two eye products. So I have the Pop Goes the Shadow Premium Eyeshadow in Mermaid Teal by Elizabeth Moth and it's kind of like this nice blue color. And then I also got the Touch Touch and Soul Style Septa. Um, it's like a gel liner, and this is actually in like a brownish color. So, um, yeah, it's like a brownish kind of goldish fleck kind of thing. So, we're going to try these out. I'm going to put some colors in my crease and do all that, and um, I will come in back when in to apply these. Alright, so I kind of just did something really neutral in the crease. Um, kind of look crazy right now, but I'm going to take my Morphe M167 and just dip it in here. And I am going to use MAC Fix Plus because on all the shimmer shades that I have, I actually um, just use MAC Fix Plus. Like, it's just kind of like a habit. So I'm going to give it a fair chance on how I would actually use it. So I obviously zoomed in pretty close, um, kind of just ignore my under eyes right now. Uh, but the color looks really nice and vibrant. So in the pan, it actually looks kind of darker than what the eye actually comes out. It's more of like a greenish blue. Um, I think it's actually really pretty. It's not super pigmented and it's kind of a little patchy like right by the lash line. It's kind of hard to get a super even kind of coat. But um, I think it looks pretty nice. I did use my, let's see if I can find it. I did use my Wet n Wild um, eyeshadow primer to set everything. So yeah, and I used my uh, Morphe 35O palette for the shades in the crease. I'm just gonna kind of stay zoomed in for you guys. We're gonna go in with this eyeliner thing and I'm gonna put it on the upper lash line and in the water line and we're gonna see um, pretty much how it looks. So while we're zoomed in, um, I'll zoom in and try to go a little bit closer. Um, I put it on the upper kind of outer, so like the upper lash line, but like the outer section. Um, and I try to put it on my waterline, but it didn't really want to go in too well. So um, I think it's good for like the upper lash line, which I actually don't really use too often. But um, yeah, it's kind of like a greenish gold kind of color but I'm gonna going to finish the rest of my makeup and we're gonna move on to the next product. Alrighty, so I am back with my concealer and foundation everything because the next thing is actually a powder and it's from Tarte. It's called the Smooth Operator Amazon Clay Finishing Powder and it's a really white powder. So I think I'm just going to put it right under my eyes um, and not the rest of my face. So I'll set the rest of my face with something different, but um, yeah, I think the sample size is pretty cute. It does 
have a pretty good kind of sifter. There's only like two holes in it. it kind of just comes up on the top, which is fine since we are not going to use that much of it. Just going to use one of my like under eye kind of brushes. So I'm going to smooth out my concealer and then take some on the brush and pat it right under. All right, so that is it just under the eyes. Um, I don't hate it, but I also don't really like it too much. It kind of feels a little kind of, not like super, like kind of like a, like baking soda-ish kind of consistency. Like it's definitely more finely milk than baking soda, but it kind of just feels a little weird under the eyes. So I'm actually going to set the rest of my face with my Cody Airspun and we are going to uh, finish with that. Guys, you gotta see my case. So I bought a one-off Wish, and I got this cute little like, Spirit of the Way one. I don't like that it's a ring, but um, I know it can't be like a pop socket, like an actual one, but I think it's really cute, and the case is also really nice. I think it like makes him look super cool, um, but I love this new case of mine. Alright, so now that the rest of my makeup on, there is only one product left in my bag, and it's the Adiz, um kind of nail polish. And this one is like a kind of baby-ish, bluish purple. I don't know how to, what color this um, would actually be, but I think it looks super cute. There we go, now that it focused. Um, I think this color is super cute for like the springtime. I already have um, a KL polish on currently, but I will let you guys know in the description box how this works out. They have sent me some of their other colors before, like more fall colors, and I actually really like this brand, so I'm pretty sure this shade is going to work just as well, but I will leave in the description box um, like how long this lasted on me and everything. I really like these, like this brand, so um, it's probably going to be good. So I'm going to insert a photo here of <laughs> what this looks like with flash on because it is a very white powder um i think it looks really really bad um it if you're taking photography for flashes like do not wear this at all because you can just see a whole white cast under your eye um i don't take any like flash photography so for me it doesn't really matter but if you know you're going to be doing that that day do not wear this powder um i mean it feels kind of all right but I, we will see how it lasts throughout the day, if it helps with my like concealer or anything, but don't wear this if you have to do any photography. The current time is 3.22 in the afternoon. I am going to be staying up pretty late today, so we will be able to see like a full test kind of thing on all these products, and I will show you guys uh, later how I feel about this one. Alrighty guys, so I am back at the end of the night. It is 10, it's 1025 once it focuses. And uh, yeah, 10, 10, 10, 1025. <laughs> um, so let's, I forgot actually what I even used. Um, but I will look on how this powder is doing under my eyes. Um, it's kind of creasing a little bit into my kind of concealer area, but besides that, the under eyes actually look pretty good. Um, I'll kind of zoom in a little for you. It's kind of creasing just a little bit on the actual wrinkles under my eye, but besides that, it looks pretty nice. The eyeliner, I'll zoom back out. The eyeliner, as I said before, I don't really care much for just because I don't use anything for the upper lash line. So basically the only thing left to check in on is this Pop Goes a Shadow Mermaid Teal by Elizabeth Moth. I've noticed that during my kind of like ipsy bags that I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of like Elizabeth Moth stuff, so maybe they're just promoted a bit better, but the eyeshadow is actually doing really well. It's not creasing in like my, um, crease obviously but like usually it would transfer because I do have the hooded eyes that kind of tap but it still stayed the sharp 
line that I put it at, so there we go. So it still <laughs> stayed the sharp, um, pretty much color. It's not transferring or anything. So it does look pretty nice so far. So I will see you guys um, towards the end of the night, like one or two in the morning. Um, I will also do this face mask later and we will see how that goes. Alrighty guys, so it is the end of the night here. It is 3.04 at night and um, we're basically just gonna check in and after I take off my makeup, I'm gonna put on that mask and I will let you guys know how that goes again. But let's check on everything so far. So the eyeshadow is still doing really nice. It's been on for about 12 hours now. Um, it's still the same as when I checked in before. I don't really care much for the powder, um, but I will try to see if I can kind of make it work. Um, it does really feel like smooth and nice under my skin. I just really don't like that flashback. Um, even though I don't really do flash photography, that's just not really uh, my thing. The eyeliner on top has kind of faded a bit and in my eye it's um, pretty much almost completely gone. It's basically just patches here and there um, in my waterline. So I honestly, like I said before, probably won't use that eyeliner again, but I think I'm definitely gonna wear this eyeshadow again. It looks really nice. The powder I will try out more, but only on days that I know, like, the more of like when I go to work kind of thing, because it does feel really nice under the skin, and it has, um, besides in the creases, it has really like lightened up, but overall I don't care much for white powders. Besides that, all we have left to try is that mask, so I will be right back in a minute. Alright, so I'm just doing like a quick um, what I did for the mask. I am about to wash it off. Um, it has completely dried now, and it said just to put in like problem areas, so I kind of just put it on like the T-zone area and a little bit on my cheeks where I'm getting a little bit of um, like acne bumps, um, but the sides of my face are pretty nice so I just left that blank but I'm gonna go wash it off and I will tell you guys how my skin feels. Alright guys so the light is a little off and she wants to be held for a little bit so um, I'm just gonna add my <laughs> ipsy bag here. Um, I actually really like the mask. I think it helped a little bit like reduce my pores and such. Um, I only have one light on so the lighting is gonna be a little bit weird but um, overall I do like the mask. I will continue to use it to see if it actually does anything because it's supposed to like clarify the skin so maybe it'll help me with like um just like acne in general maybe some of my pores maybe even some of the scarring i have so yeah if you want to see more content from me don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell notification and if you want to see more kitten give a thumbs up that way i know if you guys want to see more of her in the video she doesn't mind being held for a little bit so as you can tell she's kind of comfortable oh now she wants to leave oh she wants to say hi okay no oh. alrighty guys so i will see you guys in my next video